Hello everyone and welcome to another career mode on my channel. This is episode number two of my last little career, career mode. We start this off by going into our emails where we have where we see we have received lots of emails telling us that transfer that the transfer offers are unacceptable for Umtiti, Rakitia, Herman and we've also received a email that um Ham Hanno Hamburg have received an offer for John Anthony Brooks, but we go into our shortlist trying to see some central mid players who we can buy as we really do need some. I see Andre Gomez I, and I inquire for all of them. There are some very good ones, some very young ones, Nabil Bentaleb, Rabio, James Lord Prowse. And then we go back into our emails. We see Carl's Jill has rejected his contract, but Ocampos has accepted. We are going to stall it for now, see if we can get anyone else. But we get some inquiries. We see Nabil Bentaleb is reasonably cheap, six and a half billion. We get offer four four point two, trying to see if Spurs will accept it. But as you can see, the James Wood Prowse was James Wood Prowse came back with an inquiry of sixteen or twenty something million for him, which was just way out of our budget. But Carl Jill has once again declined his contract, so we do accept Ocampos, a very nice seventy five rated twenty year old from AS Monaco. He, he's very young and very good. He does some nice stats. But we tr still try and, and pursue Nabil Bento. We do have a transfer offer for our goalkeeper, so we do loan him out. He's currently our third choice goal goalkeeper, so it is good if he can get some game time and maybe improve his stats. But we still tr but now we try and inquire about Umtiti. We try and give we offer nine and a half million to Shaq to Olympic Leon. We're trying to get him for the cheapest price we possibly can. But and for a striker we try and get Angelo Henrique Angelo Henriquez. We offer buying five million for him and we offer Spurs five million for Harry Kane and we also offer Toulouse five million for Braithwaite and five million for Nikolai Henson. Try to see if we can get any of them for the cheapest possible price, but Spurs have accepted the offer from the Bill Bent Lab. 30 grand a week, we give him an offer and squad rotation player. Maybe we can sign him, but we do loan out uh, another right back. He is only 19 rated and 59. But Olympic Leon have come back with another uh, email rejecting the offer, asking, 60, uh, ask, asking for 16 million. And Bayern have also rejected, saying that their player is not Sal Hatton, but Spurs have accepted the offer for Harry Kane. So we do go into contract talks, and we do have the first match of the season against FC Mets. It is a home match, so I'm looking for a very strong performance from the lads. I do put on Emyema on. He does have a band-aid, so he's recovering from an injury, but it should be fine. We also put the new signing or compost in the right wing position, and we do put Corocha, who is a right back by default, in his natural position. Rio Antonio so Mahuba. let's get straight Rue. into this game. Here. First piece of action comes in the eight, eight and a half minute, where Gway is on the ball. A nice cut in, nice fake shot. The last the defender, and then just powers it through the in the far corner. Nothing the keeper could have done about that. It had power. And it had perfect placement. The keeper could not have saved that. The keeper even passed from the wrong way. But Gway gets the first goal for us in at the start of the new season. Now they are currently now they are holding possession, trying to make their way up the pitch. Got some great defending by Korotia. Manages to dock him and then makes a perfect interception. Pass it to Rigi, who cuts it across the goal to Rowe, who manages to get the second goal of the match and his first goal of the season. A great piece of play by Karocha, who Andrews, who steal the ball, and a nice through ball to Rigi, who maintained calm under pressure and just passed it. Cross goal to Nolan Rowe, who was open. Now the third opportunity comes for Rigi, who takes a shot, but hits the post and, manage, and manages to land straight into the path of Rowe, who just taps it in. He's there to pick up the scraps. Nothing the keeper could have done about that one as well. The keeper wasn't even expecting Rose to be in that position. In the 70th minute, I do make some substitutes. Put on Mendes for Origi. I put Belmont on for Gway. As you can see, put Mendes on for Origi. Give Origi a rest. 
he did have a nice game assisting one and setting up another one and I do believe we also put Keep on back. three for Rowe. Three is only 67 rated, so and he's quite young, but he, he, he's not John what we are looking for, so we might need to replace him. But three is on the ball in the 85th minute. He's dribbling left to right, does a nice ball roll to get some space, and then just powers it through near post. Keeper could not have done that. He have done much of that. He gets his first goal in his first game of the season. And that is how the match will end. 4 0, I do believe. Well, no, we do have another attack in the 90th minute. Nice fake shot, place. but gets fouled right on the edge of the box. If it was just a couple millimeters inside, it would have been a penalty, but it is a free kick. Should have been a definite yellow. Well, that is his to Martin. He Put does some perfect free kick. Free kick done. Team, but he a little bit of power. Brings it over the wall, straight close to the near post. Keeper could not have done much about that one. So far the keeper there, just stood there, thinking he was going to hit the post. Or it was going to be a foul. But Marvin Martin makes it back in the 90th minute. A very nice free First kick. Of the season, a great way straight to over the wall. They've won, great over and, they've really and back down. And that is how the match ends. 5-0. Against FC Mets, they didn't even have a shot on goal, which means that we are just too dominant. But Nabil Bentaleb has declined his contract, so he obviously believes that to go into us will be a step down. But at Spurs, he's not even getting any game time. But we do go and try and get Angelo Henriquez again. Bas um, FC Bayern did reject us, but we got, but we are going to try and get him on a loan. And Harry Kane has also rejected us. Once again, believing that we are a small club and who prefer to play at Spurs. We do receive a transfer off for Elena. Or he is currently a reserve goalkeeper. I do have him transfer listed, but I am not. But he is currently my reserve goalkeeper, so I do need him. And I'm not really looking to purchase a goalkeeper at this current time, as we do have one decent one and one reserve goalkeeper, who is not too bad. But we do try and pursue... Angelo Henriquez again. This time we go. This time we put a loan offer for him for the full season loan, and we also try and pick up a central midfielder. Wait, sorry. We go into our transfer. We go into our scout report to see the scout. He has put a whole bunch of players that he has scouted over the whole period. But out of all these players, none none of them were too good. And I do um get rid of uh instructions that the, that the, that were said by the computer themselves but we go into the second match again SM China I do believe that's what it is and we it is an away game we're using the exact same lineup we had Tackling is a real skill. we go into a game Sebastian here Corcia. SM China we're using the exact same team we had for the match against FC Mets and it starts with a Kante going on the attack for them, but we do do, but we have some good defense. Korocha leads it up to the pass, get lucky to reach in position. Guay gets tackled, but it lands to us. Korocha, the ball is thread through to Korocha, who does a nice finesse past the goalkeeper, giving us the lead in the 11th minute. We got lucky on multiple occasions, but Korocha does give us the lead, and he gets his first goal of the season, but nothing happened all the way until basically the 70th minute, I also made on. some substitutions for the Mendes, for Origi, Balmont for Guay, and also Rowe for... and also Frey for Rowe. So, nothing really happened up until the 70th the minute. What a chance missed. They do, they do get a free kick, but one. they do take it. Go straight to us. We went off a header. The ball is played through to Mendes. He uses the pace he has to get past his member. Does a nice face shot. He gets inside on his right foot. A nice cross. They head, they, head, they head it out. The ball will land to the blue ball. And we do earn a free kick in the 70th minute. But, <coughs> but the problem was... It was too far, but Ma that's no problem for Martin get a second free kick goal, that's two in a row, that's 100% free kick completion rate, a nice free kick, gets 
top left corner for Girona. Nothing to be done about that. And Martin Martin has earned his second goal of the season. And straight from that, straight from kickoff, we do snatch the ball. Mendes passes it through to Frey. Frey was not missing from there, so he does a nice finesse. And the not about power, it's about the placement. And we make it 3-0 almost instantly. Frey gets another goal after the So he is on the attack. And it's still on the attack. And once again, we do... No to to there to try and make a problem, but he gets He's doing a nice back heel back. Oh, we Belmont does intercept the ball once again. A nice through ball all the way, all the way to the left. Marvin Martin. He has acres of space. He cuts inside and powers it and does again a finish shot. Into the back the right final corner this time, a comprehensive making it four zero. Here a very nice goal. Great team play. And the cut inside is just too OP for the defenders to handle. And the match ends 4-0. So another win, another 4-0 win. Marvin Martin being man of the match with the 9.3. Getting two goals this match. One from the free and one at the end. And now we go into a short list. I have also short listed Pedro Franco and Jimenez. But they are both incredibly expensive. And also Gabriel. And they are all expensive. There's also Ruben Pardo, who I have shortlisted for the central position, a scout to have had all they can in France. We do get some, we do get a return on the inquiries that Pardo and Jimenez, but they were way out of a budget. Mine have once again rejected the offer for Angelo Henriquez, so we do try and put in another one this time for, for a long full season. Hopefully they will accept it and we will have the first season. He, he's decent rated and he's not and he has decent stats. And Vasca did find some other people but no one that we were really interested in. We are coming up to the end of this episode. Bayern have once again rejected the offer. If you do did just, if you did like this episode, leave a like, subscribe, it was, everything does help. Comments and feedback, it is all helpful and I do read it all and try to improve my content. But this is the end of the episode. We thanks for watching. Peace. Bye.